it's not if, it's when something's going to happen. And to give our first responders the tools they need to keep us safe, that's what this is all about. With one click of a button, teachers in Blunt County will soon be able to alert the E911 center of a school emergency, meaning help should arrive even faster on the scene. It's a move by the Blunt County leaders to combine emergency alerts for all their key facilities. Cameras and GPS locators should help first responders know what they're facing even before they arrive. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith joins us with a look at how that high tech safety system should work. Shannon. John, Blount County will be installing SARA, the Situational Awareness and Response Assistant, into all its school and government buildings this fall. This will tie together security cameras, emergency alerts, and the 911 center access to pinpoint what exact emergency is happening where and who the best team is to respond. In Blount County, schools, government, and city buildings will all soon be tied together under one security alert system. You've got a complete unified messaging platform across all parties. The county chose status solutions to bring a new security system to its offices and schools, equipping every Blunt County middle and high school teacher with a personalized wearable panic button. If a panic button is pushed, the dispatchers will immediately receive a, a notification on their terminal, which will pop up and will include live video feed. Why this is important, it's quiet and won't catch the attention of a dangerous person on campus. Each button will be registered to a teacher with mapping capabilities. And it will know where that person is on campus. Uh, even on the football field, it'll know north end, south end. It'll be able to distinguish between rooms. The button paired with 911 access to live cameras will show what kind of emergency is happening. When the police officers or the fire department or the EMTs respond to that area, they know exactly what to expect and what apparatus they need and what equipment they need. The county will start installing this software in schools this fall. The company says they've worked for years to make sure the system is effective. This started back in Columbine for us. So this was not something that we just developed recently. This is something that's been in development and we've been deploying for 18 years. Now Blunt County installing it to make sure its students and county employees are safe on the job. Right now, Maryville City Schools is not included in this plan, but Blunt County says the system has room to build and they can add more as needed. They'll also consider specialized buttons that signal things like allergic reactions or fights in school. John. Quite a story, Shannon. Thank you.